guys, on to theorem 4. Now, theorem 4 is nice in that you don't have to prove it. Um, the proof is in the textbook, which is very, it's a very interesting proof. So if you want to have a look at it, you're welcome to, but you do not have to be able to prove it in an exam, which is quite nice. So what does it say? It's basically the converse of theorem 3. It says that, remember theorem 3 said that if you can prove angle, angle, angle in a triangle, then the sides have to be in proportion and therefore the triangles have to be similar. Whereas this one says, if you're told that two triangles have sides in proportion, then the triangle has to be equiangular and therefore they have to be similar. So what is this saying? This says if you have AC, which is the same equivalent side as PR, so if AC compared to its friend in the other triangle PR is the same as AB compared to its friend, which is PQ, if these are equal. Or, sorry, let me just add in the third side, I could have compared BC and QR. So you can compare any side to its partner. If these ratios are all equal, then my triangles must be equiangular. So then, angle A must be equal to angle P. Now I've actually labeled that in already, so those must be equal. Angle B must be equal to angle Q, which I've labeled in already. And angle C must be equal to angle R. So they must be equiangular. Now as soon as you have both of these, as soon as triangles are in proportion and equiangular, then they're similar. So basically the idea with theorem 3 and 4 is that in triangles, the one criteria implies the other. So equiangular in triangles implies the proportion. And in theorem 4, proportion implies equiangular. So you only ever have to prove one of these criteria when you're proving similarity in a triangle. Now this is only true in triangles. In any other shape, you would have to prove that the triangles are, sorry, the shapes are equiangular and the sides are in proportion. They're not necessarily, um, they don't necessarily come as a unit. So this is only true in triangles. So this would mean that ABC is similar to triangle PQR. So this is what the theorem says. Now what reason do we use? If we're trying to prove similar triangles, now to be honest I've never seen theorem 4 asked, the only way we generally prove triangles are similar is theorem 3, angle, angle, angle. But it is possible to prove that two triangles are similar using theorem 4. And then the re reason you say is sides of triangle are in proportion. So if your sides of your triangle are in proportion, your triangles are similar. So let's have a look at an example. This question says DC is equal to 40, right? So 40 is labeled. AE is equal to 39, labeled. AB is 60, labeled. BC is 20, which is labeled. EB is 30, and DB is 26. So they're all labeled in there. Prove the triangle EAB is similar to BDC. Now, where are these? Well, there is EAB. Now, remember the, the letters and their, their order are important. It's similar to BDC. B, D, C. Now I can see that there's no angles here, which means there's no way this is a proof by angle, angle, angle. This must be a proof by proving the ratios are equal. So the question is, which ratios should be equal? Well, it's very easy to tell. So E, B are the first two letters, which is 30. So I can compare the short... So E, B is... Oh, sorry, let me have a look at this. E, B is the shortest side. So its partner will be the shortest side, which is B, C. Now, have a look. Have they labeled my triangles in the right order? EB is the first and the last letter, and BC is the first and the last letter. So, absolutely, those two sides are partners. So, if I compare EB to BC, what do I get? Well, I get 30 to 20, which is 3 to 2. Now, this should be the same as any other pair compared to its partner. So, let's check all the other pairs. I could compare AE. Now, AE is the second longest side. The second longest side in the other triangle is the 26. Now let me just check that they've labeled this the right order. AE is the first two letters and BD are the first two letters. So yes, these are matching partners. Now what is this? This is 39 to 26, which if I simplify is 3 to 2. So, so far so good. So far, each of these sides compared to their partner are getting the same answer. So let's compare the longest side, which is AB to DC. Now let's check the order. AB are the last two letters and DC are the last two letters, so this makes sense. Now what is that? That's 60 to 40, which is 3 to 2. So we're very easily shown by picking a side and its partner in the other triangle 
that these three ratios are all equal to one another. And as soon as these three ratios are equal, we know that these triangles are in proportion. Which means, theorem 4 says they're equiangular, and therefore they're similar. So triangle EAB is similar to BDC, because my sides of my triangle are in proportion. I can also tell which angle is equal to which angle now, simply because theorem 4 said they must be equiangular. But I don't have to worry here, it simply said prove they're similar. So they are.